Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, I'm going to use these Oracle cards to take a look at your current situation. So let's see. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me what's the current situation between Gemini and their person. What are the, what are the current energies and the current feelings between Gemini and their person? Hold on. These cards are slippery. Let's see. What's the current situation? What are the current energies between between Gemini and their person? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, rings. Contracts, agreements, bonds, strong connection, union, partner lovers engaged this feels like the two of cups a little bit or the oh or the lovers actually yeah i just looked at the the sign here that's the sign of gemini so this is kind of like the lovers in tarot wow there's a strong connection between you and your person for sure very strong soulmate connection So both of you want each other. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. What's the current situation between, between Gemini and their person? What are the current energies? It says summer within three to six months. So something might happen in the summer. Well, we're kind of already in the summer, aren't we? within three to six months. Well, that wouldn't be the summer anymore, would it? So it's either in the summer or three to six months from now. Looks like something significant is going to happen within this relationship. Can you clarify that, Spirit? What's happening in the summer or in three to six months? Oh, okay. Some of you might get engaged. I just I just looked at this card. Some of you might get engaged or some of you might enter into a, a commitment with this person. Hmm. Tell me about the summer card, Spirit. Clarify summer. Balloons. Fun, freedom, high vibe, ascension, high perspective, attaining goals, stress-free, independence. Hmm, this is kind of like the fool energy. Hmm. I feel like there's two different paths here. Some of you are going to um, enter into a commitment and some of you are going to just be single or embrace being single embrace your freedom yeah i feel like it's it's two different alternatives here hmm. anything else spirit tell me more about this connection between gemini and their person currently Friends, friendship, soul tribe, third person, social media, relationships, hang out or meet in person. Hmm. Weird. There's a lot of messages here. Very different messages. Some of you might end up being friends with this person. 
you might decide to just be friends with them and, you know, be free, independent, unattached. Hmm. Gemini, I feel like you have a lot of options here. When it comes to whoever you're dealing with, I feel like... Okay, so it's like you're going to win no matter what. It, it feels like this is a win-win situation for you. No matter what you do, whether you're friends with them, whether you're in a commitment with them, whether you just stay single, it feels like you're going to be fine because I'm looking at this person and um, I feel I'm looking at this woman here. She looks really happy. So I feel like you're, you're going to be fine no matter what happens. You're, you're going to come out on top no matter what happens, you know? You're going you're gonna to be victorious no matter what happens. Anything else spare about this connection between Gemini and their person? We have thunderstorm, power destruction, electric display, energy shift, conflict, opportun opportunity to overcome. This kind of reminds me of the tower. The tower is all about um, yeah, endings. It's all about endings and transformation, changes, unexpected changes. All right, let's get one more for Gemini Spirit and their person. Oh, spring, new moon, within one to three months. What's with all these time frames? Now we have spring, but that spring already passed, so that would be next spring. Spring, now you have spring here. But also it could be within one to three months. Either or. Yeah, it's next to the thunderstorm, so I feel like there is going to be some sort of big life change. Can you tell me anything about that, Spirit? What's the big life change here for Gemini? What's the big life change for Gemini? It says, optical illusion, not what it seems, visual effect, Head trip, hallucination, hocus pocus, projection. Hmm. So some of you might actually get rid of someone. You might decide to like pull the plug and just fully get rid of someone. Yeah. Someone who's been kind of deceiving you with this optical illusion card. So for some of you, within three to six months, you're going to be completely free from a, from a karmic connection. From a soulmate connection that maybe is not the best for you. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who just wanted to be friends and nothing more. Someone who was someone who was or is friend zoning you. Even like a friends with benefits situation. But you want commitment, I feel with the rings card. I feel like you want commitment, but you might be dealing with someone who just wants to have a casual relationship. And I feel like with the thunderstorm here, I feel like you're going to reach a point where, where you're going to completely cut this person out of your life. And it's going to feel good. With the balloons energy here, it's going to feel good. You're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot lighter. You know, it's like you're you're going to unload yourself from a lot of karma here 
unload a lot of karma off, off of your energy. If that makes sense. Okay, interesting. Let's get off of these cards. Let's move on to the tarot cards. All right. At the bottom of the deck here, it says worry beads. Worry, fear, anxiety, upset, repetitive motion, nervousness. This is kind of like the nine of swords with the worry beads. So some of you have been feeling a lot of stress over this connection with whoever you're dealing with. All right, let's see. So I wanted to use this deck. I usually don't use it that much, but in case you're curious, it's called the, tar the Tarot of Curious Creatures. All right. Let's see what your person's current feelings are. Spirit angels and guides, please show me. How does this person currently feel about Gemini? I wanted to say Scorpio, so some of you might be, de might be dealing with a Scorpio. What are this person's current feelings for Gemini? The person that Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love. How does this person... Feel about Gemini? How does this person currently feel about Gemini? All right, here we go. It says here the hangman to be a Pisces. So there's nothing much happening between you and this person currently. Things are just kind of up in the air right now between you two. Um, there's a stalemate or um, it's just stuck, stagnant. No communication. There, there might be uncertainty right now in regards to where you stand with this person and where are things headed between you and them. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for Gemini. We have, ooh, the devil. The devil. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Hmm. This person's obsessed with you, for sure. With the devil card, they're obsessed with you. They're still holding on to you. They're refusing to let you go. But they're not showing up here. They're not reaching out. I feel like they're, um, it feels like they're plotting and scheming right now. Yeah. I feel, it feels like they're trying to figure out some sort of plan. All right, tell me more, Spare. What are this person's current feelings for Gemini? We have, ooh, the Six of Cups. Okay, so this person misses you. They're definitely missing you with the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is also like a soulmate energy card. There's still a lot of love or emotions. I, I don't know if I want to use the word love, honestly. With this card being connected to the devil, I don't feel comfortable using the word love. You know, I think they have strong feelings for you, but it feels more, it feels kind of selfish with the devil card. You know? I feel like this person desires you for selfish reasons. And if they have feelings for you, I feel like they have feelings for you because you make them feel good or you give you've given them attention like you've made them feel good in the past i don't feel like you two are connecting right now but i feel like you you've made this person feel really good about themselves um you've given this person attention or you know care 
support. Who knows? It could be anything. I just feel like you've brought value into this person's life. And it's because of that value that they, um, that they have strong feelings for you. Yeah, because of the value you've brought into their life. But this is not someone who, I feel like this person hasn't brought any value to your life, you know? I don't feel like this person has reciprocated any of of your energy towards them. So that's why I say it feels selfish. Hmm. Five of Cups is at the bottom, Page of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. And the King of Cups is here, and the Seven of Cups. Hmm. That's interesting. King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this person attaches the, attaches themselves really easily to people. Yeah. They attach themselves really easily to people. It doesn't take much with this person. But yeah, I feel like with the Five of Cups here, I feel like this person is um, feeling really sad over this separation, wanting to reach out to you with the Page of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to continue the relationship. They want to continue moving forward with you within this relationship. We do have the Two of Pentacles, so I feel like they're currently... Um, deciding if they should or shouldn't reach out to you to make things right with you with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person has other options with the Seven of Cups, but I feel like they don't really want any other option. They're not really interested in pursuing any other option. Um, this person is looking at you like they've already invested time and energy into you and they they want it to count for something. They don't want it to go to waste. So I feel like this person wants to continue being with you. They don't want to start all over again with a new person. All right. Let's see, I'm going to clarify the hangman. Tell me about the hangman spirit. Clarify the hangman in regards to this person's current feelings for Gemini. All right, we have the fool. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like this person definitely tried to kind of disconnect from you, detach from you. Uh, okay. They thought they could be single or like they thought they could be uh, okay with just, you know, being single and living their life separately from you. I feel like this person is... Um, receiving a reality check, though, or a wake-up call with the hangman. It's not as easy as they thought it as they thought it would be to move on from you. They thought it was going to be a piece of cake with the fool card, but they're learning very quickly that. This connection that they have with you is very strong and it's not something that they can just erase or, you know, block from their mind. It's not going to be a walk in the park. So I do feel like this person is kind of um, 
returning back to the idea of of reconnecting with you. Because I feel like this person originally their intentions was was to just walk away and completely forget about this connection with you. But I do feel like they they're rethinking that. It's kind of like, damn, damn, I keep missing Gemini. I keep thinking about Gemini. Like, why can't I get Gemini out of my head? Like, it's like you put a spell on this person. Like Hocus Pocus. Didn't one of these cards say Hocus Pocus? It did say that, like this one. This one says Hocus Pocus there on at the bottom of the card. <laughs> All right, tell me about the devil. Clarify the devil here in regards to this person's current feelings for Gemini. Clarify the devil. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. Ooh, this person tried to, they tried to start a new relationship with someone else. That's the problem. This person didn't take any time to kind of, you know, relax. You know, just relax and just be on their own and just kind of heal. Heal from this ending with you and, you know, just kind of process it and come to terms with it. They immediately jumped into a new relationship with the full card. They immediately just jumped into a new relationship. They immediately started connecting to another person. They didn't waste any time because I feel like this person, they don't like being alone. With the devil energy, that's like a codependency energy. They just don't like being alone. They need to get attention from somewhere, you know? Huh. Except that things are not going so well between them and this new relationship because all they can think about is you. With the King of Cups and the Seven of Cups, it's like you're constantly just distracting them from what they're trying to do in their life. Um, your memories kind of haunt them and their feelings for you haunt them. Okay, tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here in regards to their current feelings for Gemini? Six of Cups. Okay, we have Judgments. Yeah, this person is definitely starting to lean towards, I want a second, I want a second chance with Gemini. They're starting to lean towards that direction. I miss Gemini too much. I think about Gemini too much. Um, I want a second chance with Gemini. Okay. I don't feel like they've made the decision yet. That I feel like they're thinking about making this decision. They're contemplating this decision to reach out to you and attempt a second chance. Hmm. Tell me more about the judgment card, Spirit. Tell me more about the judgment card for this person. <clears throat> we have the five of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person has been fighting themselves, trying to hold back, trying to resist. They might also feel like you two are always arguing with each other and always um, 
disagreeing with each other, competing with each other, according to them. But it doesn't matter, basically. That's what this person is um, realizing here. It really doesn't matter how much you two might fight or argue or disagree with each other. They can't help how they feel about you at the end of the day, you know. And they can't help wanting you back. It almost looks like this energy might even attract them to you even more. This energy of like arguing with each other and fighting with each other or disagreeing with each other. I feel like it, it actually attracts them to you. I feel like they complain about it. They complain about it, but in reality, it, it makes you more attractive to them, you know? They like the challenge. All right, let's move on to... Let me take a look at um, your current feelings, and then we'll see actions, the, the actions that this person will take. All right, spirit angels and guys, what are Gemini's current feelings for this person? How does Gemini currently feel? What are Gemini's current feelings for this person? How does Gemini currently feel about them? All right, here we go. The Eight of Wands. Tell me more. What are Gemini's current feelings? The Six of Wands. Oh. And the Queen of Swords. Two of Cups is at the bottom here. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. What is this? Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You definitely feel like this person has um, been playing games with you. With the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like um, you feel like this person has been playing games with you. You feel like this person has been um, deceiving you. Making themselves out to be something that they're not. Um, for some of you, you, you might feel like this person gave you false promises or gave you a false, you know, idea of who they are and what they want with you, what their feelings are. I think I'm going to clarify this. Yeah. All right. Well, you do, you do care about this person. We do have the Two of Cups here. I feel like that's, I feel like it's connected to this Rings card, you see? Two of Cups and Rings. Hmm. Some of you, um, for some of you, this, this was your goal to get married or to, you know, be in a commitment with this person. Hmm. Hold on. Some of you were in already in a relationship with this person, but then things fell apart. Maybe you were even married to them. We have the hero from here. All right. Anyway, regardless. Yeah, in regards to your feelings, um, you're not you're not messing around here with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. You're definitely in this energy of not needing anyone. This is kind of like an energy of, I don't need you, I want you. There's a difference. Huh. I, I, I get that, actually, because they did show up with the devil card. So this person might, you know, get, they might have the wrong idea of, of you being attached to them. You're not, though, with the Queen of Swords, you're very um, independent. So, 
yeah, I feel like this person might have, like, underestimated you, I guess. They underestimated your ability to detach because they don't have that same ability as, as you. I feel like this is someone who's a lot more codependent than you are. Hmm. I feel like with the Eight of Wands, I don't know if you want to talk to them or not. That's what I'm not getting. Let me clarify. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the Eight of Wands and Gemini's current feelings for this person. The Page of Wands. Okay, I feel like you're receiving communication from this person. And I feel like you're in this energy of, what do you want? What do you want? Why are you calling me? Why are you texting me? What do you want? Tell me about the Queen of Swords and Gemini's current feelings. Yeah, the world. So I feel like you're the one who kind of decided to close out this cycle between you and this person. So I feel like when they reach out to you, I feel like you're going to be in this energy of, didn't I end things with you already? Didn't I say no to you already? Like, it's still a no. I haven't changed my mind. It's still a no. I don't know what you're saying no to, but I feel like whatever they're telling you, it's something that you've told them no. Before. And I feel like you're in this energy of it's still a no. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not doing that, you know, because I feel like they're like proposing something or offering you something. And I feel like you don't want that. What are, whatever it is they're bringing to the table, you don't want that. And what is that spirit? I have no idea. What is this person telling Gemini with the page of wands? Okay, yeah, you're you're staying on higher ground. What, what is this person telling Gemini with the Page of Wands? Two of Wands. Oh, okay. They're, okay, they're telling you that they want to try it out again with you and just see where it goes. You don't like that. You don't like the whole let's see where it goes type of, you know, energy, message um, that this person is communicating. You don't like the whole let's see where it goes. Yeah, I feel like, because I feel like you're different. I feel like you're in this energy of you know, no, I'm not going to see where it goes. You're the one who, t you're the one who, um, you know, you're the one who drives the car. The car doesn't drive you. You know, I feel like that's what you're kind of telling this person. In other words, you know. Yeah, because it's like this person is telling you, let's see where the car, let's see where the car takes us. And you're in this energy of um, the car is not going to take us anywhere. You're the one who takes the car somewhere. <laughs> you know, like you're the one who steers the car. You're the one who um, directs the car. So you don't like this wishy-washy energy that they're bringing towards you. It's, it's kind of fickle and wishy-washy. And I feel like that's why you might have closed out this cycle because they're not giving you any security. With the Seven of Swords, they're being very vague and very elusive and, you know, secretive. They're not giving you any concrete, you know, security. With the King of Pentacles, I feel like that's what you want. And that's what they're not bringing. So, you don't, as much as you might have feelings for them, 
you don't trust them. You don't trust them to to protect you, you know? To protect you and to protect this relationship with you. If that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see what's going to end up happening here. Well, let me just quickly see what their actions are. What their next actions are going to be. Because they are thinking about things here. So let's see. Um, I want to use this deck again. Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Gemini next? Moving forward. What will their next actions be towards, towards Gemini moving forward? Okay, let's see. The Emperor. Hmm. The Emperor with the King of Swords. Well, this person is being strate strategic. Tell me more about their next actions towards Gemini Spirit. What is this person going to do next? Ooh, the moon. So they're going to continue holding back from you. But they're definitely watching you and spying on you. And keeping tabs on you. But I feel like... They're definitely going to continue holding back for a while longer. I don't feel like it's permanent. I feel like this person is going to resurface. Um, it already showed up here. They are going to message you. But I feel like right now, they're purposefully, they're purposely holding back and kind of giving you the silent treatment, basically. Clarify the Emperor spirit in regards to this person's actions. Clarify the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, okay, clarify the Moon, the Eight of Wands, yeah, I told you they are going to communicate with the Eight of Wands, they're just, um, what is this person trying to do here, Spirit? What are they trying to do? I'm trying to figure out what is their strategy. What is this person trying to do here? Ooh, we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is kind of holding back because they're hoping that that's going to make you want them more. You know, it's going to make you miss them. That's their whole, you know, thought process when it comes to giving you the silent treatment. Yeah. They're hoping it's going to make you miss them and want them more. All right. Gemini, that's what I see. I hope this reading helped you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.